Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We're continuing to review and compare devices and I'll flash our schedule for the next couple of weeks. You can also check our Twitter community at GadgetRevNow for updates. Last Thursday, I was watching a presentation of Harmony OS and as a tech enthusiast, I'm excited about it. Just a quick history of Huawei, it's been two years now, May 2019, when former President Donald Trump banned Huawei on using and installing Google services because of allegedly spying on American government. Not sure about that, but the ban happened. Today, after exactly two years, Huawei came up with a permanent solution to fix it, and that's making their own operating system for their Huawei devices. Let's take a look on Harmony OS and to save you time watching a couple of hours long presentation from Huawei, these are my 6 things you need to know about the Harmony OS. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! Let's start with our first observation. It looks like an iOS and Android OS interface. The icon looks like iOS because of the EMUI and the notification looks like similar to an Android OS. I even thought they're showing an Android phone in the first few minutes only to realize it was Harmony OS. I think it's a good thing for all of us since Huawei phone owners are familiar with Android and iOS interface. This is a confident and familiar look to us. It looks like the Android 12 with a stronger accent on colors for its notification tray. I don't have any issues with it, I thought it was a good move, but hopefully they can bring something new and exciting about the aesthetics, like feeling of navigating a new OS, not just a copy of iOS and Android OS. But all good, cause it works. The second thing I noticed is the quick pairing and connectivity across all Huawei devices. They talk about this for the first 30 minutes and really the whole presentation revolves around connectivity of Huawei devices. For smartphones, Huawei Vision, which is their television, smartwatches, and speakers. It's an invitation, because they're trying to create an ecosystem around their products. Harmony OS offers easy pairing by just dragging the icons of the other devices into your phone. It's the same concept of what we had on Android devices. Android lists the names of the devices, while Harmony OS gives you an icon for these devices. I just have a quick question on it. How will the icon look like when a consumer uses a third-party device such as cameras for instance or tiles? Will Harmony OS support these devices and will the icon look like a generic device? You know how neat the icon will look like on third-party devices. And I was just hoping in the future, if they succeed with this, that they would also offer computational driven platforms outside their mobility like Mac computers for Apple and Chromebooks for Google. Because in their presentation, I only see four devices being offered on Huawei's ecosystem. The next thing they showed us is that sleek home screen experience. So, two things I get from their quick presentation about their home screen is if you drag two apps in one folder, the home screen settings will recommend to group other apps with similar function, if it's gaming, sports, or social media. This is not new to Huawei as their previous phones with EMUI are already doing this like my other review units like Huawei Nova 7i or Huawei P40 with a stripped down version of Android OS. Also, when you group apps together, there's an option to expand or make a bigger folder. Looks like a widget. Hmm, although I was thinking you might want to group the same app to save space, enlarging it is also a good trick if you want a bigger look on your apps contained in the folder. It's a good choice. The fourth thing we will get from Harmony OS is the service widget. This is like Google Cards for news, weather, train information, and so on. You will find the widgets on Service Center and you can drag it in the home screen. I guess it's a typical widget we see on Android and iOS. I'm not sure what the difference are and what it offers, but it looks similar to what we have in Google and Apple. So this is a direct competition of what we have on those guys. I guess developers can create their own widget for their apps if they wanted consumers to easily access their services directly in the home screen. The fifth and one of the most important thing is the faster performance. Next is the promise of faster performance. If Harmony OS can deliver on this, it will be a great thing for the company and other manufacturers too. This OS will seriously make Google rethink of their strategy, how to tweak and maximize the performance of their succeeding Android OS because I agree with the sentiments of Huawei. Android phones will be so fast in the beginning and as the update comes, they will slowly make the phone sluggish. Give it a couple of months and you will feel some hiccups. 
This will be good to other manufacturers too because they can take advantage of Harmony OS with mediocre specs. They can refocus their energy and resources to other things like R&D. And lastly, like their competition, Harmony OS is an open source. So like Android OS, Harmony OS is also an open source. I guess the only way this platform will survive is to provide it for free. In that case, OS developers can come and tweak it to make it better and for app developers so they can populate Huawei App Gallery. Without these apps, it will be really hard for Huawei to sell Harmony OS and their devices. So there you go, Harmony OS presentation is both exciting and a step up to the right direction. It's about time that iOS and Android OS have a little bit of competition that Windows OS cannot deliver. There are a good number of followers for Huawei and sharing the same sentiment they have on the US Huawei ban would think it's ridiculous and people might give Harmony OS a second look and try it. Harmony OS presentation is an invitation to developers to jump in Huawei's ecosystem. If they can get enough apps for people to consider Huawei and its new ecosystem, this can be a game changer. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. We're posting videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, photography gears, and tips. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.